So, you messed up and no longer want to be a chemical engineer. Make no problems, I got your back. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome once again to the channel. It's always great to have you back. And yes, truth be told is that lots of chemical engineers, or at least people that start chemical engineering degree, will select that degree because they are good at math and good at chemistry. And we all know that this may not be the best idea to select a major. Many times we need to know what a chemical engineer is, what do they do, where do they work, what are the typical career pathways that they can take. But most of the time, being good at chemistry and math will be good enough. Hence, we have a lot of chemical engineers that no longer want to be chemical engineers either because they don't like that much the processes, the industry, manufacturing, or maybe they are not that into actual chemical engineering overall. But make no worries guys, because there are many ways in which a chemical engineer can divert or let's say diversify from their degree. And this is exactly what we are going to be exploring right now. Let's get started with the list. Number one will be chemist or chemistry. Yes, I'm pretty sure that you selected chemical engineering because you were good at chemistry or maybe you just love chemicals or love going to the lab. In this specific case, what we're going to be exploring is, yes, going for a master's degree or trying to focus your first job as a chemist. And although the chemical engineer may not be the best fit or the very first profile they look out, you can still have a chance to go into research and development or maybe to work directly at a lab, making formulations, making experiments, maybe designing new products, maybe even working in a pilot plant. If this is not the case, simply go for a master's degree on chemistry. You can go for analytical chemistry, organic chemistry, maybe you're into environmental chemistry, whatever type of degree that may resonate with you you can still do it and you will not be working towards chemical industry or chemical engineering overall but you're going to be working as a chemist i really don't know that many people that have shifted from chemical engineering towards chemistry alone but i really think this is a good shift if you are into chemistry number two will be pharma or pharmaceutical and the chemical engineer has the tools to work towards that industry because they have a better understanding on the processes and flow of manufacturing and supply chains, inventories, raw materials, end products, and so on. Not only that, they have the chemical basis. So if you're into the formulations of the medicals or if you're into trials or experimentation, you can do that as well. I've heard a lot of people that really hated their reactor engineering courses or working with reactors, heat exchangers. But once they're working in the pharmaceutical industry, they just love batch reactors. They talk about the rate of reactions, how they are creating pharmaceuticals or maybe new formulations that are going to be helping humanity. One quick way to go towards pharmaceuticals, if you are having a hard time finding a job on that, will be to study a master's degree on pharmaceuticals. This third industry is going to be one of the most common ones for chemical engineers. As I stated before with the pharmaceuticals, I've heard a lot of chemical engineers that hate chemical engineering overall because they're working with all chemicals, hydrogen, nitrogen, maybe they're talking about oil and gas and so on, and they are not quite passionate. But once they transition to the food and beverage industries, they love it. And it makes a lot of sense. There's a lot of people passionate on making food or making food products and also making beverages. Maybe we're talking about juices, maybe we're talking about alcohol, spirits, maybe we're talking about beer, wine, and so on. This is one of the easiest ways to escape chemical engineering overall. Simply aim for the food and beverage industry, land a job, and try to make a career on that industry. One of the most famous alternatives, and it's pretty hot right now, is going or shifting towards computer science or simply going into programming. As stated before, chemical engineers are good at chemistry, but for sure at math. They have great analytical minds. And shifting towards computer science makes a lot of sense because we have the logic and maybe you are much more towards creating software rather than working with actual physical equipment, process units, and so on. This is by far one of the most common shifts I've seen that chemical engineers simply will not stand chemical engineering and simply learn to code or go to a master's degree in computer science and eventually try to land a job in a tech company. 
As you may already know, tech companies are the ones that pay the most, so it makes a lot of sense chasing the money. But not only that, guys, there's a lot of jobs, and you don't need to move in middle of nowhere in order to achieve that. You can do this even at your home. So, so that's why shifting towards programming or computer science is becoming a common trend in recent graduates and young engineers. A lot of chemical engineers are now shifting towards green chemistry or environmental engineering, meaning that they are not that convinced to go to a manufacturing industry, work in creating these bulk chemicals. But whenever they think about the environment or improving our world and making a much more safer and environmental friendly processes, they instantly get attached to environmental engineering. And there's not much to say here. If you're into the environment, this will be for sure one safe bet for you. You can directly go and apply for a job in a consultancy firm or maybe work in an industry that works with a product or a green product, let's say. Or maybe you just go and study for a master's degree. Whatever the case it may be, environmental engineering is one of the easiest getaways from chemical engineering. Truth be told that mechanical engineering is something that we know is very similar to chemical engineering. Maybe they don't work that much with molds or maybe they don't use that much the reactor, but we know that combustion is there. We know that material sciences, we know that machines and equipments are used in mechanical engineering. And I have heard some people that eventually shift towards mechanical engineering. Either they get started working as a process engineer, which goes pretty on hand with mechanical engineers. And eventually what they do is learning more about mechanical engineering. Another way I have seen engineers shifting towards mechanical engineering is via the master degree. They get started with material sciences, or maybe they get started with certain type of combustion or automotive design, aerospace materials, fluid dynamics course, or maybe studying hardcore thermodynamics. And eventually they simply shift from a chemical engineer into a mechanical engineer. This is for sure one field worth exploring. Maybe you didn't like that much the chemicals, but if you are into the machines and equipment, unit operations, you can still make this happen. And finally, yet not least, I would say that I know a lot of chemical engineers that have shifted from industry work towards much more of a administrative role or so. We're talking about finances, we're talking about consulting, we're talking about maybe marketing, maybe even social media management and so on. And this makes a lot of sense because engineers have already all this analytical mind. It will be pretty easy to simply teach them more on the finances of a business. Or maybe if we're talking about marketing, it's way easier to understand the marketing fundamentals and then using all these analytical tools that we have in order to improve the field. One of the easiest ways to shift to this type of jobs is simply try to apply to those type of companies. We're talking about consultant companies, maybe we're talking about marketing agencies, or maybe we're just simply talking about financial companies, but essentially what they're looking for is a person that has great analytical tools and has a great interaction with their clients, with their bosses, with their suppliers, and of course, our great team players. So there you have it, guys. Those are the ways in which you could still make something out of chemical engineering. If you are a recent graduate or maybe you're in your last years, and maybe you are regretting going for chemical engineering, or maybe you are not quite sure what are the ways in which you can avoid chemical engineering-ish industries. These are good ways to get started. Now, remember guys, you gotta be relaxed. Make no worries, there's a lot of chemical engineers that even though they want to go to the industry, will not even end up in any kind of chemical engineering job. They will accept other type of positions that may not resonate with chemical engineering. And second, guys, I will strongly recommend you to go for something that you really enjoy. Or maybe there's certain type of things that you may actually enjoy from your chemical engineering degree. Try to exploit those areas. If you're into environment, go for that. If you're into chemistry, go for that. Maybe if you're into coding, maybe you want to explore a little bit more on automation. Maybe you want to go for artificial intelligence or machine learning. Whatever the case it may be, guys, it's all up to you to make your future happen. On my behalf, that will be it, guys. I'll see you in the next video.